Hi, I'm Mike Graham, and this is Video Insights. Today, we're going to be talking about pre-prepping your rig to get it from your warehouse out to show site. So let's go ahead and check it out. So as you can see by taking a look at the rig, we've already done a lot of work on pre-setting our stuff. We've built our truss rig, uh, we've hung most of our fixtures, and we've labeled everything. By doing these steps, it's gonna save us a lot of time on the actual show site. So let's go ahead and take a close look at what we've done to get ourselves prepped for that. Part of the prep process is gonna be addressing your fixtures before you do hang them. Um, so what we've done before we came in today is we already have addressed this fixture so it knows what address it's gonna be in, what personality it's gonna be in. We go ahead then, we're gonna put a label on the fixture as well, telling us what universe, the address number, fixture number, and the fixture type. Uh, we're gonna have a corresponding fixture on the rig itself as well with that same exact information so that when we get to show site, anybody will be able to hang fixtures. So the next thing that we did was add in our power and data cables. Now the trick here is to make sure that wherever cable is gonna go through truss blocks so we know we're gonna get broken apart, you have to keep it loose because when we go ahead and strike everything, we're gonna roll up the excess cable and put it on one side of the block or the other so that way we can untape it and bring it through and reconnect our fixtures. When it comes to labeling your truss, I've tried several different methods. I've tried everything from different color tapes to using all letters, to using all numbers. I have found that a combination of letters and numbers works the best for me. So what I will typically do is I'll pick a direction and label all those letters, and then my other direction, I'm gonna label all those numbers. Uh, the reason I do this is because that way when I'm laying my truss out on site, I know that everything goes in one direction or the other, so as we're laying truss out, it makes it very easy. The other thing that's important to not do is to not break everything down completely when you do go from here to show site. What you are gonna do is you're gonna keep one direction set up will keep your corner blocks on, the other direction will be vacant. That way it'll also make it a lot easier on site to figure out which pieces go where. The last thing you wanna do is make sure you put your truss onto your truss carts in some kind of an order. You're gonna go back to front or front to back. That way when you're laying it back out, it's all gonna go in one direction as you're coming off of your truss cart. All of those things are gonna save you a ton of time on show site. So we've removed all of our fixtures at this point. Uh, we've also taped down all of our cable and we started taping back our cable. When we tape back our cables, which is where all the cables are that are gonna either drop or go through a corner block, we've used different color tape. In this case, we used orange tape to be able to delineate the difference between cable that will stay in position and cable that is going to move. This is gonna make it a lot easier for us when we actually get to the show site to just drop cable into where it needs to go and speed this process along. So we're all packed up and ready to get out of here and go to our show. We hope you picked up a few cool tips on how to best prep a show. Until next time, we'll see you later.